Okay, welcome back to Things Top Notch Academy. We are still on differentiation and we've treated all these methods of differentiation. So, we are looking at the implicit differentiation today. Maybe next time we'll look at the logarithmic differentiation. So, when you talk about implicit differentiation, We say when we have a function such as y equals to 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals to, okay? So when we have a function of this, so y, if y is a function of x, meaning that y is equals to function of what? x, we call y, we say that y is what? An implicit function, okay? So, like we see this here, y is a function of what? x. So, it is an implicit function. Then, we also have a case where we have, um, two, we have 2y plus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Or, let's say like this. And it has to solve. So, here, we can also say it's an implicit function because it has a function of what? x that is y has a function of what uh, x so we also say it is an implicit function then let's look at an example just a single example then later you check other examples from the uh, playlist all right so what's to differentiate Differentiate x squared plus uh, y squared plus 25 equals to 0. So how do you differentiate this? So this is an implicit function. It falls under this method that you are going to use to differentiate. So what you do now is, now say solution. We have to differentiate y with respect to x that is what we are going to have here because we are asked to differentiate meaning that we are to find the y over what the x which is going to give us so here we differentiate x so here it's with y with respect to x is going to give us what 2x okay plus then here we are differentiating y with respect to x and what we are having here is what y so it's not working out because we're supposed to have the y, the x, and not the y was also having y again here. So in that case now, you can differentiate. This will come down. That means you have 2y. Then repeat the y, the x, the y over what? The x. That's how you do it. So here it's not working out. That's why you're having like that. So we're also differentiating with respect to s here. Here it will, it will work out because there's x here. No, 25 has x so this is how it, it looks like 25 s raised to the power zero okay so we can differentiate so now if we differentiate a constant it's going to give us what zero so we can now say plus what zero right so now we are having this we're having this so to get This is now equal to what? zero. So to get our dy over the x can be we have two x plus two y. All right, dy over what the x plus zero is same as that is equal to what zero. So now you can make dy the x the subject of the formula. And if you've done that, you are going to get something of this kind. dy okay we're going to have 
2y dy over ds is equal to these two s crossing is going to have minus 2s. So 2 can go against 2. It will now remain y dy over ds is equal to what? Minus s. Then we cannot divide by divide both sides. By what y so if we do that now we're going to have dy over the x is equal to minus x over what y so this is going to be like this so that is what you're going to have as your answer okay so do way to check other videos i'm going to solve another question on this particular topic using this method. So do it to check so you will be acquainted with the method. Right, thank you.